dear brothers and sisters, in this weekly meeting, we try to understand the revelation of Allah. We try to understand the book of Allah. This book make everything clear to humankind. This book explain to us what is right, what is wrong. This book told us about the group of the, book, the people who are in the highest level of goodness, who are in the highest level in badness, who are in the average, who are under the average. What is the destiny for those group? And Allah Azza wa Jal make everything very accurate, very clear. So after Allah Azza wa Jal told us about the people who said that this uh, book, this Quran is from the Prophet. And we discuss this uh, through two weeks. And after that, Allah Azza wa Jal make everything clear in the ayah number 103. Well, نزله روح القدس 102. قل نزله روح القدس من ربك بالحق ليثبت الذين آمنوا وهدا وبشرا للمسلمين. O oh, Muhammad said, O oh, every believer said to the humankind, to the creation from the other uh, sect of the creation that this is revelation. The one who brought it down is the Holy, the Holy Spirit. And it is from Allah Azza wa Jal. And he is messenger from the heaven. And this is to make everyone firm on the straight way. And it's a guidance and it's good news for the Muslim who submit their soul, who submit themselves to Allah Azza wa Jal. And after that, Allah Azza wa Jal told us about the people who didn't believe, about the people who didn't uh, accept, about the people who reject this book. Allah Azza wa Jal said in ayah number 104, إن الذين لا يؤمنون بآيات الله لا يهديهم الله ولهم عذاب أليم. Indeed, those who didn't believe in the sign of Allah. Here I uh, said sign and most of the uh, translation they said verses. Uh, here is the meaning not only the verses of the Quran. When Allah said إن الذين لا يؤمنون بآيات الله The people who didn't believe, who reject the sign of Allah لا يهديهم will not guide them ولهم عذاب أليم and for them is a great punishment painful punishment why I said the sign I mean by the sign two type of uh, ayat the, the sign of the universal sign and everything there is a sign and everything there is an ayah in our eyes in our Uh, leather in our creation in the trees in the flower in the food in the animals in the galaxies in the you know everything is a sign and uh, all these signs should be enough reason to us to believe that there is a god and it is very silly if if you ask anyone do you accept this is happened by itself no It's very easy. It's just some walls and uh, <laughs> it's, it's very easy. No, no, impossible. Impossible. Do you think that this cup is filled by itself with pure water? No. Someone, did you saw him? No, but I'm sure 100% that someone did it. Everything is clear. But for this great universe, for this great creations, now you will have a lot of theories and a lot of blah, 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 and a lot of talking. And a lot of useless idea. We spend as a human a lot of money and a lot of time. And we know, we know what is right and what is wrong. There are a lot of Western scientists. They, they said that when we feel poor in our faith, when we feel uh, poor in our thinking, in our iman, we go to the lab. Oh, not to the mosque, not to the church, not to the thing. No, we go to the lab. And in the lab, we see the miracles of the creation of Allah. In lab, we will see the sign. So we have two, two type of ayat. This universal 
signs and the verses of the books. So, so if we said only verses, I don't think if the verses give the, the other meaning of the signs, I, I don't think so. So, so it is really, it is not only the verses of the Quran. Ver- the verses of the Quran, it is the second step. First step, Allah gave everyone a reason. Allah gave everyone a mind and he can look and he can see and, and he can figure out that there is creator and this creator is powerful. This creator is all knowing. This creator is uh, controlling everything. He can imagine this, but the Quran is how to communicate with him in the Quran, how to achieve what he Uh, wants from you in the Quran to tell you what is the straight way. The straight way will guide you to the heaven. This straight way will guide you to meet and see Allah at the end of the straight way. So, So those people who didn't believe in the signs of Allah, in the verses of Allah, لا يهديهم الله. So, When Allah said in another ayah, he guide who he will and he mislead who he will. The people think that is slaughter. This is what the people think. Oh, look, if Allah want to guide me, he will guide me. If he don't want to guide me, I'm waiting his guidance. No, you are a liar. <laughs> you should act. You should uh, try. You should think. You should ask if, if I want a, a car. And I said, oh. Yani if I will have a car, I will have a car. And I said, nothing will happen. Nothing. If you don't go and ask and do, nothing will happen. And, and this is how the uh, verses of the Quran explain the other verses of the Quran. And really, uh, this is uh, the type of tafsir I give to you. I, I don't want to market myself. This is not is my goal. I give you something to understand the value of this. This is, uh, what I do is, I bring the ayah or the subject and see all the subject in the Quran. And they bring all the ayat and this is will give us full subject. You know, it is not only, the problem nowadays with most of the Muslim that they give chapter of ayah. They just give words and put it in your face Uh, and they start to ask, no, please, you have to see the explanation of this ayat in, in the book because Allah put some ayat, there is something, there is summarized ayat and there is explanation from the other ayat to this ayat. In this way, we will understand the Quran and this is not an easy thing. It is not something uh, can do it but by yourself because this is, Okay, you can read by yourself, you can understand the first meaning by yourself, but when you would like to go deeply in the book, you need someone to guide you for, for this. Those people who didn't believe in the signs of Allah, Allah will not guide them, and for them is great punishment. This is another level. First level, those people who didn't believe in the uh, signs and in the verses of Allah. But the other group, they are very higher in the uh, category of badness, in the category of wars, in evil, in devil. Uh, they are very high. What, do, what did those people did? إِنَّمَا يَفْتَرِي الْكَذِبِ الَّذِينَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ بِآيَاتِ اللَّهِ The only who invent the falsehood who invent uh, the uh, w- 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 what is uh, lying who they invent it it is you know sometimes someone he he uh, lie did you did this no i didn't do this but someone no he fabricate full story and all the story is uh, uh, garbage it is and he fabricate everything And he, th- this is what we call, he is inventor. He invent this uh, falsehood. Uh, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ, uh, الكذب, so the one who uh, fabricated this, الَّذِينَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ بِآيَاتِ اللَّهِ Those who 
doesn't believe in the signs of Allah. Those who doesn't believe in the verses of Allah. So first of first level, they reject. They didn't believe. Second thing, now they start to fabricate what the lines, the the the, the, the falsehood. Everything is uh, not right. Why? Because the book is very clear. The sun in the heaven is very clear. If someone would like uh, to convince you that the sun is not exist and it is 12 o'clock in the morning and all the life, all the dunya is shining, he should lie, big lie. Mm, do you know what? It is not the sun. You have something in your eyes because eyes has many layers and some of these layers reflect shadows and when you show these shadows you don't see and when the la- oh, and, and he give give a book of today we have huge media of fabricated falsehood we have a lot of books we have a lot of you know not all the science today is clean not all the science today are truth not uh, for for this reason especially what we have in the social media and especially after the AI, what is the AI? Excellent. After the AI, after the AI, uh, we have a lot of fabrication. We have a lot of lying. We have a lot of uh, bad stuff. And you know what? Uh, uh, and some of them talking about the Islam, about the Iman, about stories, about what? And and the people just send to them all these fabricated story so uh, w- w- one time that there is a king and he would like to make uh, a feast aid for the lying it's feast for the lying and uh, the one who will take the highest prize who will make the biggest lies yani, this is one who will get the so everyone coming and lie everyone coming and lie until someone uh, he said Okay, uh, I build a factory in the heaven and uh, I manufacture everything at the, oh, it's a big lying. The last one coming and he said, uh, to be truth, I didn't see his factory in the heaven because I don't want to lie. But I watch train coming and going, uh, bring the goods from the, <laughs> from the heaven to the earth from this factory. Oh, he don't, he don't want to lie. And he didn't see the factory, but he see the train co- coming and up and down and brought with them this. Oh, what, what, believe me, the lying nowadays is over this, uh, over this level. The, the, and, and you know, some people are religious people. Some people are, uh, who going to mosque, who going to church, who going to synagogue, and unfortunately, some people playing with them. So, إِنَّمَا يَفْتَرِي الْكَذِبِ The one who invents, the one who takes this lies, إِنَّمَا يَفْتَرِي الْكَذِبِ الَّذِينَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ بِآيَاتِ اللَّهِ Really, uh, this uh, subject, it is very big and very huge in the Quran. Those people who fabricated those uh, people who uh, who make something false and they said that Allah said this you know يفترون الكذب they they make they make uh, you know if i if i lie for some person it's okay and i said okay azhar said this and azhar didn't say this this person said this that it's, it's okay but to say Allah said this <laughs> and it's lying this is one of the horrible things and, and Allah Azza wa Jal mentioned those people in the Quran in many places uh, the first one as I said in Surah Al-Nahl إِنَّمَا يَفْتَرِي الْكَذِبَ الَّذِينَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ بِآيَاتِ اللَّهِ those who didn't believe in the verses of Allah in the sign of Allah invent this falsehood and also Allah Azza wa Jal told about the people who make big shirk, who make big uh, idols and they worship these idols. This type of worshiping need high level of lying. You cannot, you cannot make this go away with easy. So, هَؤُلَاءِ قَوْمُنَا اتَّخَذُوا مِن دُونِهَا آلِهَا لَوْ لَا يَأْتُونَ عَلَيْهِمْ بِسُلْطَانٍ بَيِّنٍ 
our people adopted uh, idols, adopted gods, but they didn't brought any uh, evidence about it. They didn't brought any clear proof about uh, this. فَمَنْ أَظْلَمُ مِمَّنْ افْتَرَى عَلَى اللَّهِ كَذِبًا So, who is more unjust, who is more unfair than the one who fabricates a lie against Allah? Is the meaning clear? I mean against Allah that he said that this lies, this lies, he, 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 make, he make it to Allah. He make it to, that Allah said this, uh, this lies. And this is very great, very great sin. This is very great shirk. For this reason, Allah Azza wa Jal told us, I for, forgive everything except to say that there is a partner to Allah. Because this is, this is very big lying. This is make the, uh, the heaven shake and trembling because this, that when we make to Allah Azza wa Jal family, when we make to Allah, when we make Allah Azza wa Jal, uh, human, One, one time he asked him, what do you think about Allah? God is God. But uh, do you think he's a man? This is what we saw in some worshiping places. We saw a man. We saw a man with the hair, with the complete uh, beard. With the, he, he's, he's a man. And for this reason, the woman said, oh, we don't accept this. And they have the right. Also, I don't accept this. I don't accept God as, as a man. God is not a man. God not, is not a woman. God is something we cannot imagine. We, we, we couldn't understand his creation. And until to understand who he is or what, or what he is, we cannot. We cannot. It is something over our limit. But Allah Azza wa gave us a lot of example about his creation and about his exist. Also, Allah Azza wa mentioned, وَمَنْ أَظْلَمُ مِمَّنْ افْتَرَى عَلَى اللَّهِ كَذِبًا أَوْ كَذَّبَ بِآيَاتِهِ إِنَّهُ لَا يُفْلِحُ الظَّالِمُونَ الأنعام 21 سورة الأنعام 21 وَمَنْ أَظْلَمُ مِمَّنْ افْتَرَى عَلَى اللَّهِ كَذِبًا Who is more unjust than one who invents about Allah a lie or denies his sign and verses who denies his sign indeed the wrongdoers will not succeed. The person who did this, he is what? He is wrongdoers. He is oppressor. He is from the highest level of al-zalimin. Why? Because he oppressed the truth. First of all, he oppressed the truth. He oppressed himself. He oppressed the other people. He, he oppressed everything around him. Woman Allah, who is more uh, oppressor than this, than this person? And also Allah Azza wa Jal said in Surah Al-Ankabut, Ayah 68, وَمَنْ أَظْلَمُ مِمَّنْ افْتَرَى عَلَى اللَّهِ كَذِبًا And who is more unjust than the one who invents a light about Allah or denies the truth? He rejects the truth. What is the truth? The truth that there is creator for this universe. This is the truth. Today when you told the people, If they accept this, mm, yes, there is a creator. They cannot say that there is no creator. There is a creator. But, oh, okay, now but. But what? But uh, we don't know him. So it, uh, it is not necessary to be uh, Allah. <laughs> yes, but there is no one told us that he created everything except Allah. And if the trees do it, they didn't told us. Because the trees couldn't talk, the trees, uh, if the idols, and, and this is how Abraham, uh, السلام, told his people when they told him, this idols created everything. He said, but they didn't talk, they didn't eat, they didn't help, they couldn't defense themselves. How God couldn't defense himself? It's, 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 it's impossible. مَسْوًا لِلْكَافِرِينَ So, is there not hell, a residence for this disbeliever? So, this disbelievers will be in uh, the hell at the end. This is their last destiny. And, and really, this is something very horrible. We, we cannot imagine 
we cannot imagine Jahannam. What is Jahannam? We cannot imagine how difficult it is. We cannot imagine how. So we, we ask Allah, we urge Allah that to put us far away from it. We don't want to see it. We don't want to listen to it. We don't want anything from, from uh, it because it is some, something we cannot endure. We, uh, some people say uh, the, the word that uh, may Allah help us about Jahannam. No, no, we want Allah to send us away from it. We don't want help. Help that mean you will, you know, I, I carry something and you help me with this. Uh, they said in Arabic, Allah yaina. What Allah? That may Allah help us. No, don't say may Allah help us. May Allah help us in the good things. May Allah, but not in this. This is may Allah put us away from it. Uh, Allah yjirna, yjirna protect us, put us away from the uh, from the Jahannam. Alaysa fi Jahannam mathwam fi lil kafirin. And also Allah Azza wa Jal said that about those people who uh, invent uh, the lies, who invent the falsehood uh, against Allah, that those people are the real criminals. Those people are what? The real criminals. Yes, but they didn't kill anyone. Some people, yes, but they kill the truth. They kill what is good for the human. They kill what is right and what is nur. فَمَنْ أَظْلَمُ مِمَّنْ افْتَرَى عَلَى اللَّهِ كَذِبًا أَوْ كَذَّبَ بِآيَاتِهِ إِنَّهُ لَا يُفْلِحُ الْمُجْرِمُونَ So who is more unjust than the one he who invents a lies about Allah or denies his signs and verses indeed the criminals will not succeed. The criminals will not succeed. Maybe they will succeed for a short time. And I mean the short time is the dunya, is the dunya. And also in the dunya, they will not end in a good way. Why they will not end in a good way? Why? Maybe he will live in a good way, but why he will not end in a good way? Because at the end, in, what is the end of this dunya? The end of this dunya is death. And at the point of the death, he will see the real life which is waiting for him. At the point of the death, we will th- see the reality. At the point from, from the, the angels who will take his soul, now he know everything. From the type of the angels, because the angels are not one type. The angels are unbelievable from beauty and, and also they are unbelievable from ugly and difficulty. So, so we have two type and Allah mentioned this in Surah Al-Nazi'at about the two types of angels. Wal-Nazi'at Gharqa, those angels who take the soul in very ugly way or al nashitati nashta these uh, uh, angels who take the soul in very soft and very nice way and when the person at the point of the death now he is between the barzakh and between the dunya now he start to talk something we don't understand he will see something we didn't understand and we say oh he lost his mind no he didn't lost his mind but he now will go to another life. I, I, I remember one person, we were in difficult place and this place, he need to take him to hospital. And there, there is big place where there are a lot of people in it. And when they give him the approval to took him to hospital, he refused. He said, I don't want. Why? He shout, I don't want. They are waiting for me. Who is waiting for you? There is no, no, they are waiting for you. They want to, <laughs> and he refused. And after that, he died because he watched, he watched the angels waiting for him to, to, to take his soul. What about this? What the universities told us, what the science told us, what the CNN told us, what all these uh, media told us about this very important news, this very important news in everyone's life. This point is very important point to everyone. But unfortunately, no one told us. They told us about the stock market coming, doing. They told us about this, about the football, about the games, about everything except what is important in our life. And this life will start at the point of the death. At the point of death, everything will clear. And the criminals now, they will feel this bad 
life waiting for them. Also, Allah Azza wa Jal said in Surah Az-Zumar, ayah number 32, فَمَنْ أَظْلَمُ مِمَّنْ كَذَبَ عَلَى اللَّهِ Who is more injustice than the one who forges, who invent uh, lies, uh, falsehood against Allah and reject the truth and reject what is right and reject what is صدق وَكَذَّبَ بِالصَّدْقِ إِذْ جَاءَهُ When he receive it, when he receive the message of Allah, when he receive the message of the Prophet, when he receive the signs of Allah, which you feel as Allah send it now to us. Believe me, sometimes I read the Quran. Really, I read this book. It is 1,400 years ago. Or it is something now uh, printed. It is something now revealed. You know, you see how the Quran is alive. How the Quran is going with us in everything in our life. فَمَنْ أَظْلَمُ مِمَّنْ افْتَرَى مِمَّنْ كَذَّبَ عَلَى اللَّهِ وَكَذَّبَ بِالصِّدْقِ إِذْ جَاءَهُ أَلَيْسَ فِي جَهَنَّمَ مَسْوًا لِلْكَافِرِينَ So, of course, in the hell, there will be, there will be a hotel to reject her. In the hell, there will be a end of the disbeliever. In the hell will be a place where they spend the tire of their life for the criminals. You know what? One of the most difficult in this life when the decision of the judge for a criminal that he will spend the entire of his life in the jail. للأبد, forever. Of course, forever in this dunya. But you know what? Everyone's sad. Everyone's sad. He will be, because he will spend all his life in the jail until, yes, yes. But what is unacceptable when the people didn't think that about the next life. And about the next life, Allah Azza wa Jal told us in the Quran, in Surah Al-Ma'arij, in Surah Al-Ma'arij, Allah told us an amazing secret. It is a secret. It is something we cannot imagine. We didn't achieve. He said, تَعْرُجُ الرُّوحُ وَالْمَلَائِكَةُ إِلَيْهِ في يوم كان مقداره خمسين ألف سنة that the spirit and the angels travel to him in a day equal 50,000 years can you imagine a day in, in Allah calculation equal 50,000 years يعني for instance if someone of us uh, live 100 years 100 years according to 50 and, and this, this is one day it is not a year it is not a year. So the year, we don't know how much. So maybe uh, all our life is a few minutes. Few minutes. And for this few minutes, we don't care about this endless life. We don't care about endless living in Jannah or endless living in, in hell. Believe me, it's not something easy. Today, the people who doesn't care, the people who doesn't think, the people who didn't prepare themselves daily, hourly, uh, weekly, monthly, yearly about this event. We should prepare us for this event. Allah Azza wa Jal also told us, وَلَا تَتَّبِعْ أَهْوَاءَ الَّذِينَ كَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا وَالَّذِينَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْآخِرَةِ وَهُمْ بِرَبِّهِمْ يَعْدِلُونَ And don't follow the desires of those people who deny our signs and our verses. Don't listen to them. Don't listen to them. I, uh, today, I, I saw, uh, for instance, one people who is an author or he is, and all of them, his idea is atheist idea and rejecting. And you see millions of followers, millions of fans. What are those millions of fans? Uh, from a church, from mosque, from sending, oh, from all this, how, how they are, how they are follow him, how they are, uh, like him, how? Because we are very shallow in our thinking and we are very shallow in our spirit. We cannot, uh, distinguish what is right and what is wrong. We cannot know. We, we look to the, to the appearance and we say it is very nice. And, so, so don't follow the desires of those people who are rejecting, who are denying the verses and the signs of Allah 
والذين لا يؤمنون بالآخرة and they don't believe in Akhirah if there is no Akhirah everything will change in the earth everything this earth will be mass will be very bad place to live unfortunately today most of the people don't believe in Akhirah most of the people they don't believe in Akhirah for this reason everything they focus about the dunya if he is happy in the dunya he is happy if he didn't he didn't if he need everything he has he will be good if he didn't no no it is not when we think about the akhirah and the reality of akhirah we work for the dunya we prepare for the dunya but to use it for the akhirah we make it as a bridge did you see anyone live on the bridge No, bridge is just to, to pass through it. And this is the dunya. But you need to build it, to walk on it. And it should be strong to walk firmly on, on it. وَلَا تَتَّبِعْ أَهْوَاءَ الَّذِينَ كَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا وَالَّذِينَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْآخِرَةِ وَهُمْ بِرَبِّهِمْ يَعْدِلُونَ So this is people and this is uh, uh, another group of people. So the first group of people is the people who didn't believe in the signs of Allah, who didn't believe in the verses of Allah, and uh, those people, Allah will not guide them. So if you saw in the other ayat of the Quran that Allah will guide this and will not guide this, as I said, it is not a lottery. It is not by chance. It is not vain. No, there is laws, and the, but you will see this in the other, clearly in the other ayat. Unfortunately, a lot of the Muslims today, they said, Sheikh, you are right. But in their heart, they believe, no, it is something from God. When God wants, when the will of God will, uh, it will happen. Oh, please. Oh, my God, I want miracles. Most of the people today waiting for what? Waiting for miracles. No, Allah wants from us to prepare and to learn and to do our best. And then we ask him to help us And now you can achieve not the miracles, you can achieve what is more than the miracles. What is more than the miracles? To achieve the Jannah. The Jannah is more than, if we know the reality of Jannah, it is more than what we imagine. It is more than what we can think. It is more than everything. And this is the miracles. So we do our best and we ask Allah the rest and Allah will give to us. And this is, so the first group, the people who don't believe in the ayat. The second group, the people who are invent falsehood and say this is from uh, God. And the third group is the people who reject after they believe. After they believe, they reject. Those people, Allah will seal their hearts. I think this group of people, inshallah, we will talk about them next week because it's Very important topics because this topic is told us about the faith. Where is the place of the faith? How can we be real believer or not real believer? This topic will talk about the hearts. And the heart in the Quran is very great topic. It is the part in the body. If it is good, everything will be good. If it is bad, everything will be bad. As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, may Allah give you khair and afia. May Allah accept from all of you. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Al-Fatiha.